Hi, I'm Bernie Omadi and I'm the inventor of the do-it-yourself smart irrigation controller. In this video I will show you how to convert a solenoid valve into an unpowered smart irrigation controller. You can use almost any irrigation solenoid valve. An irrigation controller is called smart when the irrigation scheduling is controlled by the prevailing weather conditions. All of the plants in my native garden are irrigated by a DIY smart irrigation controller this do-it-yourself project may become a money-saving, time-saving, water-saving game-changer for small landholders. When you have completed the project, the Smart Irrigation Controller will have the following key features. Completely automatic. No electricity is needed. No batteries, no solar panels, no computers and no electronics. Adjust the water usage by adjusting the control gripper. Adjust the irrigation frequency by changing the evaporator. Use for both gravity feed and pressurised irrigation. The irrigation frequency and the water usage are directly proportional to the net evaporation rate, that is evaporation minus rainfall. Responds appropriately when there is an unexpected heat wave. When it rains, water enters the evaporator and delays the start of the next irrigation. Water usage is independent of the water supply pressure. Uses much less water without affecting the yield. It is incredibly simple and low tech and so there are fewer things to go wrong. Provided you have a continuous water supply, you can leave your irrigation application unattended for weeks on end. The do-it-yourself project allows you to minimise the cost by using locally sourced components it will be even cheaper if you can find suitable use components. Use for any size irrigation application provided that the solenoid valve has a large enough flow rate. For small scale irrigation applications you can buy an unpowered measured irrigation controller or UMIC from the measured irrigation website. UMIC is easy to install. Simply connect the water supply to the inlet and connect the outlet to the irrigation application. I recommend that you watch my YouTube video, Unpowered Measured Irrigation Controller. At the heart of the unpowered smart irrigation controller is a magnet assembly that operates the valve. There are two options for the magnet assembly, the ferrite ring magnet assembly or the rare earth disc magnet assembly. The ferrite ring magnet assembly slides over the solenoid. This option is only appropriate when there is a 25mm clearance around the solenoid. When the magnet moves from the high position to the low position, the magnet lifts the plunger inside the solenoid and opens the valve. When the magnet moves from the low position to the high position, the plunger is released and the valve closes. Note that the electrical wires connected to the solenoid have been removed. The rare earth disc magnet assembly is positioned directly above the solenoid. This option is more expensive, but it can be used for any irrigation solenoid valve. To complete the do-it-yourself project, you will need the following components. A solenoid valve, an adjustable irrigation dripper, a galvanized cross, two galve pipes 500 millimeters long, two galve pipes 200 millimeters long, a galve pipe 300 millimeters long, two galve tees, two galve nipples, a poly cap, a poly cutoff riser, two galvanized flanges, eight galvanized nuts and bolts, a small platform for supporting the counterweights, a large platform for supporting the evaporator. One or more evaporators, an evaporator is any container with vertical sides, two 20 litre water containers, a ferrite ring magnet assembly or a rare earth disc magnet assembly. If you're having difficulty sourcing some of the components, you may wish to alter the design to use components that are available. I will now give you step-by-step -step instructions for assembling the Smart Irrigation Controller. Assemble the balance bar by screwing the two 500mm pipes and the two 200mm pipes into the cross. Screw the T's onto the ends of the balance bar. Screw the 300mm pipe into one of the T's and then screw the cap onto the pipe. Screw one nipple into the T connected to the 300mm pipe and screw the other nipple into the other T. 
Use four bolts to connect one flange to the center of one of the platforms. Connect the other flange to the center of the other platform. Screw the large platform onto the nipple opposite the 300 mm pipe. Screw the small platform onto the nipple at the other end of the balance bar. Screw the magnet assembly into the T below the small platform. Use the two water containers to support the balance bar. Stabilize the containers by filling them with water. The height of the balance bar should be about 330 millimeters. Cut off the two electrical wires connected to the solenoid. Remember that the irrigation controller is unpowered. Install the solenoid valve so that when the magnet assembly is in the high position, the balance bar is level and the top of the solenoid is directly below the magnet assembly. Place the evaporator on the large platform and fill it with water until the water level is about 20 millimeters below the overflow level. Place counterweights on the small platform until the magnet assembly falls from the high position to the low position. Then progressively remove counterweights until the magnet assembly rises from the low position to the high position. When the ferrite ring magnet assembly is in the high position, the top of the solenoid should be 10 millimeters inside the ring magnet. Attach a poly cutoff riser to the 300 mm pipe to increase the length of the pipe as required. Make fine adjustments by screwing or unscrewing the ring magnet assembly, the 300 mm pipe, the cutoff riser, or the cap. When the rare earth disc magnet assembly is in the high position, the top of the solenoid should be 20 mm below the magnet. Connect the water supply to the inlet of the solenoid valve and connect the outlet of the solenoid valve to the irrigation application. Turn on the water supply. Position the adjustable dripper so that it will drip water into the evaporator during the irrigation. Water slowly evaporates from the evaporator until the weight of the water in the evaporator is light enough for the magnet assembly to fall and the irrigation starts automatically. Water drips into the evaporator until the weight of the water in the evaporator is heavy enough for the magnet assembly to rise and the irrigation stops automatically. The cycle continues indefinitely. The irrigation controller should be protected from birds and other animals. Yes, it really is that simple. An irrigation controller needs to be able to adjust both the irrigation frequency and the water usage, litres per week for example. First I will show you how to adjust the irrigation frequency. You can adjust the irrigation frequency by using an evaporator with a different surface area. In fact the irrigation frequency is directly proportional to the surface area of the evaporator. For example, if you double the surface area, you double the irrigation frequency. If you use a smaller evaporator, you reduce the irrigation frequency. I will now show you how to adjust the water usage. If you decide that your plants are not getting enough water, then turn the control dripper clockwise to increase the water usage. On the other hand, if you decide that the, your plants are getting too much water, turn the control dripper anti-clockwise to decrease the water usage. You can start the irrigation manually at any time by pressing the weights down. For example, if you want the irrigation to start at sunset each day, simply push the counterweights down at sunset. Some of the components that you will need are available in kit form from the online shop at the Measured Irrigation website. Two kits are available with free delivery to any postal address in the world. The first kit is the DIY Smart Irrigation Controller Kit with Ferrite Ring Magnet Assembly. The second kit is the DIY Smart Irrigation Controller Kit with rare earth disc magnet assembly. Go to the Measured Irrigation website for more information. Please send me an email if you have any questions. Thank you.